Hey everyone, I'm Nito King, and it's time to finish Altered Destiny. We were just on our way to Helmar's Island when we encountered a little snag in the form of some noise ohms. These annoying creatures that paradoxically emit really loud screams, but have sensitive ears and presumably can't stand loud noises. So fortunately, we brought a tool to help us deal with them. And as you could probably tell last time, it's not the silencer. This is one of those things that my friends and I discovered we could do long before we got to this point, since we never actually got to this point. And I just didn't realize what it was for until I got here. We can play the Klieg like a bagpipe. And that's dealt with the noise ohms. Of course, you can only do it once, so you better make sure you haven't done it up to this point. So now we can finally make our way around the island. But we need to watch out for that purple blob stuff. As it says, it'll kill you. If you can even make it that far. I mean, I hit up, he doesn't move up. So as far as I can tell, you have to move a little bit to the left just to get off the platform. And that's what it looks like when you die of an allergic reaction. You just kind of blow up like a balloon. So let's try to avoid that. I don't remember which way to go, but I'm going to try going right first. I don't think there's anything much important on the island, just the stuff that kills you. But the crystals should at least give us some background information if we look at them. Yeah, it's kind of hard to remember, especially looking at the state of the island now, but there used to be people living here. I think they were the Longa. And the place is corrupted not from just the ravages of time or anything, but because of the influence of the Jewel of Light. Remember, that's what we're here for after all this time. You know, like it says here, it's all the corruption from the Jewel of Light. So, I could get over to that side, but despite all the sparkles, there's nothing there that I need. And these red plants, with the yellow bits on them, I know those are dangerous. I think they're called the sucking plants. I really can't tell the difference between all these different things that are around here. The roots, I'm pretty sure, are the purple things. Yeah, see, the problem is the game isn't really clear about how these plants work. So, I see the yellow eyes under the bridge. Knew that was coming. Of course, I want to get a better look at it. Yeah, thank you, I'm not getting any closer. Let's just move on. Yeah, see, now I gotta walk past one of those red plants. It doesn't do anything to me. I'm not sure what the difference is. 
but once I finally make it up, oh, there we go. Did you catch that? I have no idea what the heck just happened. Other than those red plants are actually blocking that path, and if you get close enough, they shoot those yellow things at you, and they kill you. Now again, I don't know of anything in the entire game that actually hints what you're supposed to do about them. It's just some... Okay, that was a great place and time to save. Maybe a step to the right. And once I finally managed to make my way across this tiny path to the next screen... Yeah, I, I don't know why it is that this works, but the plants won't be able to attack you if you cover yourself in that slime that you got from the wraiths. It was the first thing that occurred to me when I got the bowl of slime was, hey, let's dump it on my head and see what happens. And it worked, and I got points for it, and I never knew why until I managed to make it to this island. And for some reason, that makes the yellow things not kill you. The best I can figure is there's some kind of suckers that suck your blood, and with a slime on you they can't stick. But I have no clue. I've never understood what the deal was. We finally made it to the castle. We know that we need to put the arrow in the hole to unlock it. For some reason, that effect always makes me think that it's killing me. And I don't know how to get in from here. ever uses because it's entirely unsafe. I have to imagine that this music actually is some classical composition repurposed for this game. This is going to take a while. Let's speed it up. Alright. Well, I guess we made it to the top. never knew that could happen. Seriously, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I'm used to just going up to Helmar and getting the option to defeat him. Which is why I didn't save since way back here. But alright, I, th I think I know what I did wrong. Hmm. 
do kind of want to see if I can get a description of anything interesting here. But it doesn't look like it. So we'll just avoid the last bit of purple blob. Walk back to the castle. Open the door again. And I think the problem is that you don't need to go all the way to the top of the shaft. There's actually a door in the third screen, and that's where you're supposed to go. I just kind of missed it this time because I was too busy speeding past it. And I honestly have no idea why it would make a difference, but going in this door gives you a chance against Helmar. So I just gotta wait until I get near the door, jump... Gotta wait for just the right time. And we're in some kind of crystal maze. Well, we just happen to have directions for getting through a maze, and we haven't found a use for them anywhere else. So, right three times, and then up. I find it kind of disconcerting that the music changes in that one room. Alright, uh, up from here, but there doesn't seem to be a way to go. Well, Vinda did say we'd have to shed some illusions and trust in our instincts, and the leaf told us to go up, so up it is. Yeah, now for some reason, Helmar gives us a chance to defend ourselves. Well, only one of these things is a weapon, so... Yep, he shoots you with a beam of light and kills you. Well, fortunately, we know how to take care of light. Yeah, we just need to block with something with a reflective surface. And there we go. That was Altered Destiny. And for some reason when I used to play this on my old DOS computer, the game would crash right after I clicked something in that previous menu. So I never actually got to see the ending until I played the game on DOSBox.
I hate the colors. White on pink? I love how the title of the box says it's John Qua talking, but inside the box it says Helmar is talking. So that's it. The epilogue is you go home, you're rich, you're happy. I think the game had a ton of charm. It's probably not stood the test of time very well. You know, looking back on it, you can see the flaws pretty easily. And even at the time, I could see the flaws pretty easily. Well, I missed two points somewhere along the way. I did look this up. I was supposed to read an inscription on the platform above the Pool of Light, which I think was just a clue about jumping into the light once you were done with the fight. I'll probably do some kind of bonus video and show a bunch of stuff that I found while I was waiting for PJ to turn into a plant. Anyway, like I said, Especially if you grew up with the adventure games that were coming out in the 80s. You can really appreciate what this game did well. Problem is, nowadays I think we're kind of spoiled with later technology and new sensibilities and development, so it's harder to appreciate. Anyway, hope you had fun.